Hola, or hola, DF dudes. With the pace of advancements we're seeing in AI and ML, are there any inherent risks with launching a console too soon? Would a console launched in 2026 be quote unquote AI disadvantaged to similar consoles launching in 27 or 28? Good day, chaps, exclamation point. Alex, what do you think about this? I guess the question is, how good is UDNA when we don't know? <laughs> yeah, I can't know. <laughs> Um, so I think from a hardware perspective, uh, there could be larger differences in a two-year time span. Uh, we're seeing that, well, a little bit more than the two-year time span there, but we see that with running the transformer model of ray reconstruction on Ampere versus um, RTX 4000 or RTX 5000 uh, series GPUs, where at least now, because it's using something different in the machine learning space, I haven't profiled it myself yet, it runs a lot better on the later tensor cores than earlier ones. So that is a thing um, that is potential there. But I actually think the biggest difference about if you were to launch a new 2026 box, next gen uh, console, you would be behind in software because all the titles wouldn't have been made yet for it. All the software to take advantage of this hardware might not exist in a production ready state to be shipped in games. And as a result, you could end up with an RTX 2000 series uh, situation where it took months to get the first ray traced uh, commercial game. And it took two years roughly to get DLSS to a point where everyone wanted to use it in a great way. So I think like the software thing is probably the biggest uh, thing that is in the way of launching a console in 2026 that actually shows it off why it's worth it to buy this console, you know? Mm -hmm. So that's how I yep. see it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oliver? Um, I mean, it's kind of mixed because like a lot of the machine learning techniques that are being developed now are running fine on GPUs uh, that are a little bit older, as long as they have support for acceleration for common machine learning data formats that seems to be okay uh, there are some exceptions of course like with ray reconstruction on nvidia um but yeah i think i think to some degree you can certainly push it it really depends on how far machine learning acceleration has gone in the intervening span of time and to some degree though that older machine learning hardware at least in the nvidia side is holding up pretty all right i'd say so mm. that certainly is a positive indication I think one question would really be is like UDNA ready for 2026 or at least a substantially uh, complete version of UDNA ready for 2026 relative to let's say Sony in 2027 coming in with UDNA as well. Would it be a more complete version of UDNA? Would it be a, a better performing version of UDNA? Those are some key questions here that I well, would expect would dictate this because AMD at the moment, unless RDNA 4 is a big step change, they don't really have the hardware for this at the moment, I don't suspect. So it needs to be based on some upcoming uh, AMD graphics architecture and it needs to be ready at, at the time in which they launch the console. So that's really what I would think about a little bit more um, than any particular machine learning acceleration there. And on the Sony side, of course, they have their own, <laughs> they're kind of rolling their own machine learning acceleration. So to the extent, would they, like, would they be relying on UDNA primarily or would they re be relying on their own solution there for machine learning performance? That's another right. question. Right, yeah. Mm, interesting. I mean, um, one might say that the current generation of consoles launched AI disadvantaged. There was the sense that Microsoft knew what they were doing, that, they, that it would be important. So there was some support at some level on the Xbox series consoles, uh, but Sony didn't really think it would be an, uh, an issue. And meanwhile, DLSS has, you know, basically become the most transformative uh, technology in the graphics space for, for quite some time. Um, going into the next generation, everybody is, you know, obviously knows exactly how important machine learning is going to be and is going to be more prepared, I'd say. But the nature of technology is that um, there's always something better around the corner. <laughs>